I am Saud and by the end of this video you shall be able to apply KVL to any circuit. KVL is basically the principle of conservation of energy stated differently. It states that the sum of voltages in a closed uh, loop is zero. What you are going to see in this video is how to apply KVL. Let's say this is my circuit. The first thing you should do is select a node. And from that node travel through the entire closed loop and reach back that node. So let's say I'll start from A, I'll go to B, from B I'll go to C, from C I'll go to A, and from D I'll go back to A. Let me assume that the current in the circuit flows in uh, this direction. Let's say the current is I. Now I'm going to start from A, go to B, from B to C, C to D, and back to A. So in this way I'll be actually traveling in the path of the current. Uh, this is the negative side of the voltage source and this is the positive side. I'll mark it this side too. and uh, both cannot be, let's say this is V1 and this is V2 now the first thing I'm doing is I'm traveling from A to B so while traveling from A to B the first thing I see is the negative uh, plate of V1 so, so I'll write minus V1 the next thing I see is R1 and the current that flows through it is I I'm traveling in the direction of current so I'll write plus I R1 If you are traveling in the direction of current, write plus. If you are traveling against the direction of current, write minus. Even out here, if you see the uh, negative plate first, write minus. If you see the positive plate first, see plus. The next thing I have is R2. And uh, again I am traveling in the direction of current. So I will have plus I R2. Then uh, I'll reach C. From C to D, I'll first see the uh, negative plate of uh, V2. So I'll write minus V2. And with that, I reach D. From D to A, I find R3. I'm traveling in the direction of current. So I'll write plus I R3. And this is equal to 0. Yay, we solved it. Now let's say I am traveling from D and going to C from C to B from B to A and then back to D. Let's say I'll uh, take this as my path from D to C, C to B, B to A and A to D. I'll write the equation again. So first thing from D to C I see the positive plate of uh, V2. So I'll write plus V2. The next thing I see is uh, R2 and I'm traveling against the direction of current. I'm traveling this way and current is flowing in this fashion. Current is flowing this way. So I'm traveling against the direction of current. So I'll write minus IR2. The next thing is R1. Again I'm traveling against the direction of current. So I'll write minus IR1. And I'll reach point B. Now from node B I have to go to node A. So from B to A I have uh, V1 and I first see the positive plate of V1. So I'll write plus V1. Now I've reached A. From A I want to travel to D and uh, between that I have R3 and I'm traveling against the direction of current. I'm traveling this way and current is uh, in the opposite direction. So I'll write minus I R3. and this is our uh, equation now both these equations are same if you multiply minus 1 on both sides of the uh, above equation you will get uh, the lower equation so both these equations are same you can travel whichever way you want just apply the law correctly actually uh, most books use the potential rise convention so if you are traveling say from A to B and if you see uh, the positive plate later it uh, indicates that there is a rise in potential and they will write it as plus V1 but this convention is far more simpler the potential drop convention and you just write what you see first so if you like see the negative plate first you write minus V1 and if you are using this convention you will have to follow it uh, with uh, each and every element so like if you are traveling in the direction of current and if you find the resistance you write plus IR1 if you are traveling against the direction of current you write minus IR1 Next I will uh, briefly show you how to apply KVL if you see other elements such as capacitors we'll or take inductors. take the uh, voltage source first. So let's say this is the uh, voltage source. 
this is the positive plate and this is the negative plate if you are traveling in such a way that you meet the positive plate first you will add V to the equation if you are traveling in, the, uh, in such a way that you meet the negative plate first you will subtract V from the equation next we will take the register so let this be a uh, register I know some of you folks draw it this way but uh, never mind and let's see this is the direction of current flow so current is I and resistance is R now if you are traveling in such a way that uh, if you are traveling in the direction of current you will add plus IR to the equation and if you are traveling against the flow of current then you will subtract IR from the equation we already saw this in the uh, previous part of the video next we will take the uh, capacitor so let's say these are the two plates of a capacitor and assume this is the positive plate and this is the negative plate and if you are traveling in such a way that you meet the positive plate first we'll add plus q by c to the equation and if you travel in such a way that you meet the negative plate first subtract q by c from the equation q is the uh, charge on the capacitor and uh, c is the capacitance of the capacitor uh, next uh, let's take the uh, inductor I guess that's the only element left so this is the inductor and these are the coils now assume that current flows in this direction now if you are traveling in the direction of current flow add plus L dI by dt to the equation plus L dI by dt if you are traveling against the direction of current flow that is if you are traveling in this direction against the direction of current flow subtract L dI by dt from the equation L is the uh, inductance of the inductor and dI by dt is the uh, rate of current flow now if uh, current is increasing with time then dI by dt will be positive if current decreases with time dI by dt will be negative so if you are uh, traveling in the direction of current flow and uh, if dI by dt is decreasing if, uh, if I is decreasing that is dI by dt is uh, negative then this whole thing will become negative so initially when you apply use the right sign and then later the sign is uh, determined uh, by, by dI by dt this was not a conceptual video this was purely application based uh, with this I hope you guys are able to apply KVL for uh, any circuit if you all have any problems feel free to ask me in the comment section thank you very much for listening